Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name is Stan. And today we're going to talk about uh, controlling a VFD within a machine that has its own control power and its own uh, transform power uh, for the control voltage. But we want to create a barrier between that and maybe a VFD that we're running. And uh, the VFD's got its native voltage, uh, which varies between brands. And we're not even going to go into specifics on which VFD we're using, but I'm going to show you how to create a barrier with a relay bank. A lot of machines have a relay bank already in them, and they control uh, um, their other operations up with low voltage. So uh, let's kind of get into it. I've drawn a few components here on the board, uh, and I've kind of color-coded them. I'm going to bring in just a tad closer to the board so you can see what's going on up there. And tip the camera up just a, just a skosh. All right, so over, uh, you see I've written the word barrier and I've drawn a black line. Over here on the uh, right, I've drawn a VFD. Over here on the left, I've drawn, I put the word machine. <clears throat> now, the red uh, units you see there <clears throat> are the coils of a relay. Uh, these represent a relay bank, and this is going to represent three relays with various types of contacts. Um, the blue side are the uh, contacts that we're going to run to the VFD. The red side is the coils that we're going to operate off of the machine. And the machine could be any control voltage. It could be 110 volt control over there, or it could be full voltage. It could be 240 volt. But these coils have to match that. So, and then these are a set of contacts that we're going to use to power or to give commands to the VFD for various operations. And we're going to let the VFD generate its own control power. And uh, what these are known as is dry contacts. These contacts never see any of the voltage on the left side of that black line. So I'm going to draw some stuff here in red and we're going to, you know, switch these uh, contacts around. <clears throat> Let's talk about the symbols really quick um, over here. This is a two position relay. Um, when, when people talk about normally open and normally closed switches, um, that always means at rest. Uh, so when there's no voltage applied, is it normally, at that, in its normal state, no power applied, is it closed or is it open? So this indicates, uh, this indicates a contact normally open. So that when there's no power applied to this coil, that contact is open. When you see a line drawn across it diagonally, that tells you it's normally closed. Uh, when there's no power applied to the coil, that, that contact is closed. And uh, basically when we power up this coil, these switch. These, this uh, normally open closes, and this normally closed opens. So that's uh, indicating a, a double uh, switch gear. This one is both normally open, and this one just switches. You've got a common terminal, normally closed side, and a normally open side. So the designators on that switch would be C for common, an NC for normally closed, and an NO for normally open. So those what those are going to mean on your on your switch gear side of your uh, of your uh, uh, relays. And this one will have two terminals, both marked NO and NO. And this one will be bar marked NC and NC. So just a little bit of. Uh, help with uh, reading your diagrams and things like that. So let's get those let's get those out of there. We don't need those for what we're doing. And uh, let's start with the uh, VFD side and that's in blue. Let's say we got a couple terminals here and uh, we need to apply a run command to the VFD and we're going to do that with maybe this relay here. Uh, we've got a uh, a terminal now these terminal numbers are just I'm making these up you need to check your documentation the book is the most important part of any VFD and a good book good documentation clear uh, instructions so if we had a common terminal maybe we had one that was called like R1 and R1 we're gonna you know that's programmable R1 it's gonna be a forward run command so we're gonna come out of C and go to our common terminal and then we're going to come out of uh, our normally open side and that's going to give when this switch 
falls over we've completed the circuit and we're we've applied a run command but we haven't used any voltage off of the machine we've we've got our barrier a relay bank is a barrier and this is all very important that you know this within your VFD paperwork there's a setting on your VFD called source and sync one of them is your source voltage out of the VFD the other ones where you can sync it up with the rest of the machine possibly all VFDs are going to take a slightly different control voltage they've got different tolerances check your book one of them one of the settings will let the VFD generate its own control power the other one uses an outside control power but I'm showing you the one right now where we use the onboard VFD power all right so let's control this coil now all we have to do is energize this coil to give us a run command so let's say we've got a oh let's say we got a switch over here one of these is gonna go let's get all these commoned up so all these are all these are going to maybe a neutral all right so all those are already got neutral going to them and then we've got these terminals here that we need to power up <clears throat> off of our let's say it's 110 volt uh, over here and you know maybe we've got a, a switch uh, or like a rotary switch or something on the uh, um, on the machine maybe on the carriage there's a flip lever for, for a forward command and we're just going to call this forward and all we're going to do is bring that over to this coil and energize that coil when the, when our forward switch is activated this coil energizes closes that relay starts our VFD now we still have got the barrier in between we're never mixing voltages we're using that relay bank as a barrier between the two um, let's draw something else maybe we're gonna do uh, off the normally closed side we're gonna do maybe an e-stop here and uh, maybe that's uh, terminal R2 and we're gonna program uh, terminal R2 to, to be a uh, uh, an e-stop so we're again we're gonna come off our common we're gonna tap it here but this time our our, uh, our e-stop needs a needs a normally closed circuit we need to have power applied and have the switch uh, always closed uh, to, to enable the run and then when we open that switch we uh, um, there we go uh, when we open that switch then we get a, then we're given an emergency stop command so uh, we've come off the common we've gone to one side we've already got a closed circuit and now on the on the power side we're gonna come down with our hot wire again and this time this thing's going to be open again we're going to call this E stop. And now we're going to go to this coil. So, uh, machine's running. I slam the E stop there, energize this coil. This switch opens, and that gives us a stop command over here um, on R2. So, we're going to label that. That one's going to be E stop. These are just examples, and it's only limited to your imagination on how you program it, how you set it up, and how you wire it. Uh, we've got another set of switch gear open. Let's give it a uh, reverse run command. Let's call that terminal R3. And again off of our common. And we're going to come down and jump over to a common side of that. And then we're going to come back to R3. Alright, so when, uh, when, our, when our coil energizes here, uh, this contact closes we get a reverse run command and maybe we're coming over here now and it's you know quite possibly it's on the same forward switch it's a forward slash reverse switch so this contact would be coming in and when this coil is powered up and that's reverse REV so when this switch closes coil energizes contact closes reverse run command over here uh, pretty simple and it just keeps going you know we've got a bunch of terminals on there that, that we can do many things with and how you control them on the machine side and how you control them on the VFD side uh, is with the barrier and it's just a simple relay bank uh, your your relay coils have to match your machines voltage and these are all dry contacts 
and they're not you're not applying any hundred and ten volt to any of the of the pin rail on the on the vfd and that's when you start doing that that's when you let the magic smoke out but i hope this was clear enough um you know i i was at a uh at a gentleman's house and was looking at a machine it was a grizzly and the relay bank was already in and he was uh, pulling his hair out because he couldn't get any control voltage out of the vfd and we still couldn't get it to work the uh the vfd's paperwork wasn't great um but we uh, we couldn't get any control voltage to come out of the vfd but he had this system set up as a barrier between the machine and the vfd control and, and it was a very clear breakpoint and i was able to troubleshoot everything on the machine side and verify it was working but out of that common terminal right here, I couldn't get any, any uh, control voltage out of it to run all this switch gear and get, get uh, run commands back to the VFD. So I was, uh, his name was Paul, and I was over there with him, and I was trying to explain the source and sync to him. And after a couple minutes, I was getting the glazed uh, deer in the headlight look. Uh, so I, I thought if I drew it, we were outside around the pool, you know, so I, he, he just wasn't getting it. I, uh, I lost him. So I'm hoping this drawing is going to help him out, and I hope it helps everyone else out. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, uh, I know your time's valuable to you. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks.